Hi, it's just me, Paula Poundstone, and I am not a professional trainer. But I've taken Taekwondo for years, and I've made it all the way on my peppermint belt. Plus, during the stay-at-home order, I've watched a lot of those workout videos. And I just thought you might enjoy working out with me more than you enjoy working out with those blonde babes with the abs that you could chop vegetables on. But of course, jumping up and down for a woman of a certain age is a little challenging. I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, took care of that. Um, all right, so we did some jumping jacks in the beginning to get the old ticker going, and now I thought we'd just do some uh, squats. Um, so you're obviously squatting, bending your knees, pushing back up through your, through your heels, trying to keep your back straight. I'm not an expert, so if somebody else tells you to do it differently, do it their way. Um, some people like to do this with their arms, pull them in, and then drop them. I don't like to be around those people. Okay, now, I don't usually count. I just sort of, I don't know what, seven, eight. Now, you may hear some noises, by the way, and although some of those noises may be unexpected, <laughs> unintentional noises from my own body, uh, some of them may be some of the animals in my house. I have cats, as you can see. I have 12 cats and two big dogs. Uh, this is my dog, Mo. Um, see that bone? We used to have a really big cat. And then here's my dog, Sirius. All right, now, like I said, I don't really count. Just do what your body tells you it needs. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do an exercise that's really like three or four exercises combined. Hold it, Mo. Take that bone over there, would you? Mo, jump up. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do, God, I missed that cat. We're gonna do uh, what's called a burpee. I'm not very good at these. Um, you, uh, you, you jump, squat, plank, push up, then, Bring your feet back up like a frog. Jump, squat, plank, push up. That sound you hear is my cat, Clue, who wanders around the house going Rawr! because she's old and it's what she's dreamed of doing her entire life. some chips, but you were fantastic. All right. My body said it needed two chips and a little bit of hair. I've always got hair in my mouth. I don't know how the hell cats stand it. All right. Now we're going to do a thing called the Superman. Don't jump off a building. It's like this. You lay flat on the ground, and you're gonna sort of squeeze everything and arch, right? Squeeze your butt, and pull your hands up. Now, for me, the motivation is the god-awful smell of this rug. Oh my God, this rug stinks. Oh my God, this rug stinks. I don't really know why they call this a Superman. I don't feel like I could save anybody right now. All right, a thousand, a thousand one, a thousand two, a thousand. 
2003. Okay, that's enough of those. All right, now, if Mo will move. Mo, you have to move. Oh, that's not really what I meant, okay. Go that way, this is called a dog push. You're gonna squeeze your butt and thrust with your pelvis. Okay, Mo, you have to move. Now you've gone and lost my hat. Um, oh, the hat's under the cat. All right, all right, Mo, over here, over here. Come here. Where's the fucking dog whisperer when you need him? Sit, Mo, sit down. Good girl, stay. Okay, now we're gonna do a plank. Now plank is sort of like part way through a push up, right? So you're gonna keep your back as straight as you can, but you're gonna be on your elbows. And you're gonna squeeze your butt and squeeze your abs. Now, I don't count when I do planks at all. I call it plank therapy. And I just talk about my problems. Well, of course, you know, the stay at home order has been on for a while here in California. I have to say I'm not all that lonely because I'm used to not having friends. Um, I've mostly been, mostly been cleaning, which for a person with OCD, kind of have an advantage. All right, you're, the wet part of your nose is actually in my nostril. Thank you. You know, I have terrible allergies, by the way. I'm allergic to dogs and cats. Um, not really. Uh, you know, I, uh, for a while I was paying a, uh, a guy to teach me Taekwondo and another guy to teach me kickboxing. And, uh, I spent literally thousands of dollars and I was always about the same weight. And since the, uh, stay at home order and since I've been working out on my own, I've lost like 15 pounds. But I think it might, might be mostly from doing the dog push. Because that really, that really exercises your muscles. Ow, right in my head. Did you hear that? That was a bone cruncher. Um, of course, I lost my job. I know that doesn't separate me from most of America. I used to work in theaters where I would tell my little jokes to large crowds of people. When do you think that's coming back? So I applied for work at Trader Joe's. You have to apply online. That's my cat glue. And uh, I got a form letter rejection, which is in some ways better than a personal rejection. I mean, I'm glad Trader Joe himself didn't knock on my door and say, we don't want you. But then I applied for work at the Vaughn's grocery store. And uh, I asked one of the checkers to put in a word for me and she said she would. And then I called up to check on it and they said, oh, we just hired like 12 people. And uh, so then I was shopping there one day, not too long ago, a couple days ago. And on the PA system, they're saying, apply to work at Vaughn's. Everybody but Paula. It's kind of awkward. All right. I think that's enough blanking. I have to go put ice on the side of my head from where the dog just hit me. Uh, join me again on my next workout. We'll work on the butt. Oh, oh my God. Okay, good.